All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. We have Director X that we've been talking about for the past few days now because I have sincerely called this man out. I have actually invited him on my show like he supposedly requests that he wants. He wants people to bring him on his show, obviously, so he can clout chase and get his name out there, but also because he supposedly thinks we're all angry nerds and we're all racist secretly, and he wants to be able to tell us that face-to-face. -face. But for some reason, when you invite him on your show, he doesn't actually come on your show. He doesn't actually respond to you. I'm pretty sure he would if you had like a million subscribers, but basically everybody else, he doesn't actually want to talk to you, even though he says that he does. Now, Director X has been on a massive, massive amount of copium because all he's doing on his Instagram is he is cloud chasing off of the hate that he is getting right now. Now, obviously, this was his goal. This was his end game the entire time. He wanted to do rage bait so that he can try to get more headlines. But the funny thing is, it is not really working for him. He's not getting more viewership on his TV show, and he's not getting better reviews on his TV show either. It is still one of the lowest rated shows ever if not the lowest rated show it even beat out Velma which was amazing because Velma beat out Santa Inc and you didn't even think that was possible back then and now look at where we are here so we're going to get into a couple of his uh, copium posts that he's got on Instagram but of course before we do guys if you're new here consider subscribing I'm shadow ban as hell I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm now we have a comment here from his actual Instagram that I thought was pretty hilarious where it says my comments are filled with messages that tell me the show isn't being and review bomb it's at a 1.1 stars rating with a total of 1700 votes and 1400 of them are one stars that's not a review bomb of course it is and these trolls will come in these comments and say it's not you all must think that my people are fucking idiots oh my god you're uh, did you seriously pull the my people wow okay we'll get into it i don't know where you are from but over here we know wagwan <laughs> Sorry. Save all that. <laughs> it would be better if y'all owned it. Yeah, we review bombed your shit. And what? Instead, you deny reality and don't see how that reveals the reality about you. And obviously, he uh, tries to advertise his show every time he does a hate post like this. Now, the funny thing is, he is highlighting a article, okay, that was from Toronto Star. And I believe I did a video on this or something similar that had the same headline because we all know they all copy and paste at the end of the day. It says, Director X remains undaunted after Robin Hood troll attack i hope the rest of y'all catch up and then on the next picture he highlights it's about the little guy taking on this impossible foe said the acclaimed music video director whose new show robin hood is now blah 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 so again it's all trying to farm the rage bait to try to get people to go over to global tv and watch his tv show but the funny thing is if your show only has a total of a little over three thousand uh, votes and three thousand reviews Nobody's watching your show. That is one of the least amount of view, uh, reviews that I've ever seen for a show that is supposedly being review bombed. So that means, think about it. I want you to think about something for a second. If you're saying that 1.7K votes, all those one-star reviews are review bombs because we know you can't admit that you made a bad show, does that mean that you think only 300 people actually reviewed your show? Because you got to remember, 1.4K of those 1.7K votes are one star. So, oh, I'm sorry. You actually only got 1,700 reviews, not over 3,000. I added up the numbers when I shouldn't have. My mistake. 1.7K votes total. Total. So only 1,700 people thought it was okay to review your god-awful TV show, and 1.4K of them are one star. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, you mean to tell me that only that's the only amount that's ever actually reviewed your show? That's the only amount you think only 300 some odd people watched your show enough to review it? Wow, man, that is that is setting the bar extremely low. So let's get to this next post that he has here. So, of course, what happens is the same thing like with Mindy Kaling, and I called this from a mile away, okay? It's very obvious what's going on. We're back to the same nonsense. So now you have Director X supposedly receiving an award, a Trailblazer Award. Yes, he received the Trailblazer Award. Now, I'm not shocked in the slightest, okay? It's the same thing with Mindy Kaling when after her terrible show, she got a medal of freaking honor from the White House, all right? This is basically almost the equivalent, except it's some woke-ass award show that nobody watches either. So here we have a comment that says, I've been heavy on the Robin Hood TV promo. Yeah, I, that's obvious. So in between air dates, which I'm not going to say, I have a moment to acknowledge some amazing things that have happened the past month. In September, uh, Legacy Awards re presented me with the 
Trailblazer Award. I'm truly honored for the recognition. In my speech, I spoke about how far we've come in Canada. Growing up, we didn't have black radio. We were not on Canadian television. We, we were definitely not getting awards on the CBC. We are now, and it's amazing. Then I thought about how far we've really come. Our parents, our grandparents and ancestors have been fighting for a long time. That's not how you say it. A long time means you're coming along you mean a space long uh for basic rights basic respect and at its worst acknowledgement as human beings we've come very very far every now and then it's good to remember our history ladies and gentlemen first off i want to go back to that last comment where he said my i don't know where you're from but over here we know wagwan and then he said you all must think my people are fucking idiots so again he is trying to latch on to black people so bad. But this is a Swiss man. This man is lying through his teeth. He is not Afro or black at all like very slightly from his trinidadian background that he would be considered black but this guy is race grifting unbelievably hard he is the entertainment version of sean king that is what he is he is faking it till he makes it so even though he wants to say we know what's wagwan well guess what motherfucker we know wagwan too and we know that you are not a black male and you're lying through your teeth so you're trying to say my people are not stupid my people are not stupid and then you want to talk about black history history because you received the trailblazer award because again you are race grifting so unbelievably hard if i was this guy i would not give him a freaking award look how white he is you mean to tell me that you really bro i can't i can't with these race grifters man i can't they're such a joke they really really are and of course you shouldn't be shocked ladies and gentlemen he does the rage bait he makes everything about race he wants to call everybody else racist even though every single comment and post that he makes is about race in some way form or fashion and now he's receiving a trailblazer award for it yes ladies and gentlemen he received a trailblazer award what did he do for this i, I have no idea how is he a trailblazer i have no idea all i know is that they are giving him an award uh for being a trailblazer for black people even though he is race grifting and he is not actually a black man at all a lot of black people don't even consider him to be a black male which is hilarious at the end of the day so there's a video here i want to check it out from instagram let's see oh we were fighting for our rights as human beings and it wasn't that long ago we are fighting for our freedom as human beings and it wasn't that long ago we are fighting to be considered human beings so stand up black canada hold your head high Speak with your powerful voice and say, this is our history. This is our legacy. This is our country. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, Black Academy. Thank you, Legacy Awards. This man, every time he speaks, it sounds like he's going to literally cry. Like, I, I don't, do you have no testosterone left inside you? I don't even know. But no, seriously. Seriously, so it, I, I don't know how it is in Canada. All I know is in America, there was plenty of black people on television all day long. And the fact that you feel like you deserve your own TV network, your own this, your own that. So you believe in segregation, essentially. That's what you're trying to say. You want to keep black people segregated and have your own forms of entertainment, your own forms of everything because you're black. Simply because you're black. But the thing is, you're not black. Look at you. Look at Director X. You can tell that he is race grifting. This man is lying through his teeth. He is not black whatsoever, but he's trying to take credit for some sort of black trailblazing movement from receiving that god-awful award. Now, really quick, we have another comment because, of course, he's going to be running this through where he's on the red carpet, or I should say the black carpet. That's how he says it, the black carpet. <laughs> this is crazy. On the black carpet of Legacy Awards, talking about meditation, we live in stressful times. People are struggling and that frustration can turn into anger and that anger gets expressed in the world sometimes it's just being snappy and short fuse blah 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 this man is literally just lying through his ass so again ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to go over some of his comments on instagram because they've been pretty damn hilarious and if you do go comment on his instagram just make sure that you tell him that hypnotic sent you so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out